Welcome back. In this video, I will explain using an exemption for a student in your course. So for specific reasons, you may require a student not to have a grade submitted. While using the zero or a blank grade could just be the student hasn't submitted, but when you're using an exemption, this means a student is not required to be scored. So let's go through and set up an exemption. Act to set up exemptions, you're going to need to go into your grade book under the Manage Grades and select the drop down beside the grade item you wish your student to be exempt from. So in this one, I'm going to go into the assignment one and I'm going to select Enter Grades. Scroll and I'm going to exempt Fred Flintstone from doing this. Select Exempt. And you'll see that in exempt there and I'm going to click save and close and there you go and now it'll be showing as exempt and if I go into the assignment area you will see the little indicator of this is got exemptions so from the student point of view in content when they click on that topic they're exempt from a message display stating the learner is exempt from that topic and the activity can be viewed but it does not have to be completed. Exempted activities are not due, therefore they are not overdue, and they do not appear in an overdue items in the content. The full schedule and upcoming sections of the course schedule do not show exempt items. The calendar and the work to do do not show exempt items. The student view of an exempted grade will show like this, the student view of the progress area with an exemption will show like this. The student view and of an assignment exemption will show like this. Student view of a discussion with exemption will show like this. The student view of a quiz with an exemption will show like this. It's important to note that while activities are exempted, any associated release conditions on those attempted activities must still be met. That's how you use an activity exemption within D12. Thanks for watching.